you have only to put the timer. I already spread the tin set. And this is the tile I'm going to put here. As you can see, I also spread tin set, what's called back buttering, the tile here. I want to show how it looks like. So if we look at it from close proximity, so as you can see, there is no space between the tile and the wall, which is a cement block. So in this curve, this tile, and this tile, and this tile already installed. And what I want to install today is these five tiles sitting on the top of the curve. They are not installed yet, they are only cut. And I want to show you what I'm actually doing here because uh, to install tile on a curve is not simple. And you need to be very accurate. So I want to show you the process I'm going through to before I'm installing it, what I did in order to make it work. So the first thing I do, I actually cut these five tiles the same size. So if I'm going to check the, if the reflect here, it reflect. So you can see very soon I'm going to show you from close distance how flat it is. And here it also has to be flat. Okay, let me show you from close distance how flat and level these tiles are. I'm going to put the level here. You can see how flat is these tiles. Okay? If I'm going to take a measurement tape, a measure tape here, it should be exactly six and a quarter any place you go. Any place you go, it should be six and a quarter. Now, in order to be successful when you're actually installing a curb, is that the curb is a rectangular, but it's actually almost perfect rectangular, which means the width of the curve should be the same along the curve if it's not the same and it's not flat you're going to have a very big difficult to install it properly and it's not going to look nice so that's the first thing that you do before I'm going to install it I just want to talk about this trim here I put a trim or a threshold in order to cover the imperfection of the cutting of the tiles and this, this corner here, as you can see, here let me show you. Here there is a corner, this, this bench is actually going together with this curve. So here I need actually to set another one, another threshold here, it's going to sit perfectly with the other threshold. This is another angle to look at the issue and, and the complexity of so this curve. Is this curve actually meeting here the bench, the seat? And what I intend to do is I intend to put here another threshold to take this tile out. And put it here. So I showed before, so this is a very complicated and you really need to be very careful when you're doing step by step. Another issue I want to talk about is the slope. Any curve in a shower have to have a slope. To work the shower, the slope should be 
at least a quarter of an inch per foot or per foot. So I already designed, I already built this curve when I constructed, when I built it, I, I already built it with a slope. So I just want to show you the slope here. So if I'm going to look at it from here, just to see the slope, so you can see I have to actually quite elevate it. And you can see here the bubble. Okay, so this slope is at least for all over. If I'm going here, I will have the same slope. I really built the curb with a slope. So it's better to, to do it like that and not to actually try to create a slope after you build a curb because if you play with a tin set and tiles, uh, it's not going to be efficient because water will penetrate through the tin set and will stick, will stay on the curb top and that's create a mold and mildew. So you really need to, you must build the curb with the slope, which is a quarter of an inch slope per one foot. Okay, I'm here from the inside shower and I want to show you the curb, how it's looked from the inside shower. So the curve is like that, you can see it. And what I want to talk about, I want to talk about the tile here. You see here, that's what I want to talk about. If you look at this tile, okay, I can take it out. And you can see I didn't install it yet because I'm going to be, that's going to be the next thing to install. And what I want to talk about is how I design it. Uh, if you look at it here, you can see if I can move it all over. You can see how nice this looks. Actually, exactly. So the water will come from here and it will go fell down to this area. Now, if you look at that style here, The width of this tile, it's really the width of the curb plus the thickness of this tile, which is a quarter of an inch. So all tiles here have the same size. And the curb, I make sure that the curb width it's exactly all over, so it's, I corrected here when it was not exactly like a quarter of an inch. So it's very important. So let's start installing the top curve. What I'm doing here, I'm just protecting the tile here. You can see the tile here? I'm protecting it. The tin set will not Go over this tiles here, this tiles. That's it. Clean the dust first. To start from here, I'm first going to put the two tiles here. I want to show from close proximity how it look after you put 45 degrees. That's the way it should look. 
must look like a parallel line of steam set. Big battle, it's a must. That's the way it looks like before it's going to be on. That's what I'm going to put it. Your clothes, you can see how little it is. You can see how level it is. It's actually flat and horizontal. That's the way it should look. Okay, so now I'm actually going to put the paper. What I want to make sure that it's exactly aligned with this space here. So just to make it sure, I can take this space here and just put it here just to see if it's exactly okay. Now we see that it's exactly aligned. Wow. Take even this just to make sure that this is here just to make sure it's lined. So I think it's good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the trim inside. First, I'm going to put this as well. I 
exactly where it should go because I have another piece of threshold here to put it here. So I know exactly where it should be. And that it should be here, that excellent. Okay. After I put it, I can actually add a little bit of tinted on it. See? Just add another tinted on it. Something to be inside. And here also. And don't worry, that's, that, that's enough. Quite a lot. It tends it to hold it to its position forever. And here. So you can see how it looks like here. If I'm going to put it. Okay, so now I'm going to put it here. To give him the right elevation. Okay, it's look good. Okay. So you don't put any more tin set because you cannot put any more tin sets I put here so you can see it. Let's see how it will go. It is convenient with the sponge. Okay, so now I have to put it in the lepel and see the other. It's almost finished now what we have to do, we have to go and just flat all of them together on the same page. Okay? Okay, and make sure that the trim here is exactly you're going to force it into something because the trim they are flexible to move a little bit, so you will put it. So anyway, we actually complete it to install it on the top this clean piece just make sure that everything is level here remember it must be flat if it's not going to be flat it will be um, feeling by the person who going over it you can see it you can sense it so it's very important to do it extremely flat okay finish but now what i'm going to do i'm going to take this tie that i used before just to make sure that everything is properly done and it's perfect if you come from inside i'll show you I take this tie now and I put it here. See? What I want to see it is exactly here. See, I can move it here. Okay, there is the same thing all over. So that's it. So the next type of install is to install these tiles and the flows. That's it. Just want to see if we maintain the slope. We have to maintain the slope because the curb built with the slope. So let's see. If you look here, you can see. You can look here on the bubble here, and you can see it's actually elevated. So if you look from this angle, so you can see what I have to do. So we have the slope. If you can go here, same issue. So we have a slope all over here, so that's very good. 
if you can see what I put here, see I put here two blocks just to force the pressure or the trim in, also here, okay? I put them just to enforce it, it's going to be straight because this trim, you know, tend to move out if you don't put pressure on it. So we back after 12 hours here, just to see everything is good. Okay, so I just put here the level, it's excellent, it's very level. And put it here, the level. It's excellent. So I want to show you from close proximity, I can open it now, no problem. Excellent. Before we continue to install the rest of this curl, just want to show a couple of things. First, if you look here, you see the evenly distance between the trim or the threshold to the tiles. You can see how level these tiles here. So if I take a level, I just put it here. I want you to see the result all over okay and to the other direction which is here you can see how flat straight is in addition to it i want to see if we maintain the, the slope And you can see, I have to elevate it a little bit. If I go here, same thing. I have to elevate it. So here, same thing. So we have a slope all over. And let's see how flat. Now I'm going to check how flat it is. Just to put the level here, just to show you how flat is the curve. 